and we have a battle of the ages tonight we have zilch six on one side the master of the 1200 hp strats and on the other side we have martin broadcloak the master of rng tonight i am joined with smoke or awakened smoke three commander leonhardt on the tracking and smebdy doing the restreaming smoke what are we looking at tonight well to start with i definitely am feeling hungry by looking at these objectives uh Oh, definitely the trail mix, like Chex trail mix, so good. I'm starting to get hungry myself. Uh, but uh, also, we're, these objectives that we're actually going to be dealing with, uh, going through, we're going to be dealing with the blue planet a lot tonight. We got the, we're going to be raiding a treasury, hopefully, and we have to liberate Baron Castle. Yeah, so a lot of it gated on the Earth. Moon may have those key items. Moon, you, know, you may have to go to Moon to get those key items, but. We all know we want them on the moon. We don't want those key items to be on the stinking earth. And we've got a Porum hero, so not too much early uh, early game damage unless we find a, uh, a heroin robe. Maybe the second party member is going to help expedite this, but uh, who's the second character you're hoping for? With this, honestly, I would love to see an edge to uh, really give that jump start. Well, unfortunately, it, it may be C, maybe, but Edge is still going to be gated as a secondary character. Oh, uh, something like right. a Kane or a Sid. Tella, uh, not really what you're looking for here early on, and a pink tail for the key item. Mm, yeah, Tella's, a lot of his good spells are just currently locked right now. Right. In this particular team, I think these runners are probably going to be hitting Watery Pass for some loot. I know Martin loves doing the Eblin, but with this team, Watery Pass seems the place to go. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like you said, Martin does love that cheeky Eblin ca uh, castle looting. And but honestly, I'm a big fan of that play. Oh, same here. But this team, we're looking for J items. We're looking for... Maybe some bone arrows. Evelyn has a lot of that higher tier loot, so you may find a heroin rope there. Uh, but you're just looking for just raw J items. And it looks like Martin's going to check the inn right away. Uh, not, a, not a bad play. Wants to see who the sec third character might be. But uh, we've got a Golbez into Rydia with a hidden boss. Ha, ha, ha. But is, are we going to let Rydia hit things at least? Ah, you know, we find the right gear for her. We, we, you know, Leviathan being tier five now in gated shops. If it's a hook route, definitely want to get that ready on the team and online as quickly as possible. Checking the shop shaft for a little bit of Baron, finding some cure twos and ethers. Decent already know shop since we have a high probability if we know what our litter on grind option is going to be. But I want to see more of this particular seed, like who's on hops who's, you know, where are the other characters? What's our team gonna be? Yeah, especially with this team set up right now, Hobbs is gonna be a very early check, I'm sure. So, it looks like Zilch is going farther into Watery Pass, finds a Samurai bow. That is a great weapon for that forum. Uh, give her like a black belt and she's already online doing some uh, shooty shooty pew pew. Indeed, and I did see we got a couple of a variety of arrows to use. Yeah, charm arrows. I haven't seen any lit arrows, which are great yep, for like a bow. That and for the, I believe that works on the Kainazo a little bit, right? Yeah, Kainazo, when his wave is up, takes extra lightning damage, and when the wave is down, takes extra from ice. But I, uh, I always Zilch, forget about that particular mechanic there. Yeah, Zilch looks like he's full looting uh, watery pass. Some runners will loot the front, jump in the airship, go in the back, loot some more, and they'll be done. But we have a Tella already. We have an exit mage. So full looting watery pass definitely seems to be a good option because you can just exit out. Just want to make sure you don't leave that door part, right there. So uh, let's go, Edward. <laughs> Hourglass 2 and a dancing dagger. Well, okay, now nobody can see Yeah. Edward on Hobbs. Hey, at least you have his best weapon so far. Edward without a dancing dagger, if the spoon flag isn't on, his early game is use a dancing dagger. But we got Zilch going over to Kaipo here. Maybe checking some shops, checking what that Sand Ruby character is going to be. Uh, hopefully it is something of use when we get it early on. 
Like a I Sid or a Kane? Shop. Looks like it's just a Yong there sleeping. I saw the bald head. Meanwhile, Martin's just finishing up a watery pass here. Where do our runners go from here? Um, my guess would be maybe to just take a peek at Hobbs to see who the character is and if it's an easy fight. Yeah, I definitely want to be able to get that uh, early experience. Quite a lot there on Hobbs and for the early game. So, so Smoke, I, um, have you played much of the uh, ZZ4 flags? I have not touched these flags. They, uh, for someone of my lack of uh, experience, I would say, it, these flags are very intimidating to me. I can completely understand that. I, I would personally try to hit Hobbs here right now to see if I can maybe get a third character on the team, get through the fight, get the experience. Uh, that's where I'm trying to figure out what's, what's going to be going through our runners' heads here, figuring out where all these fights are. Speaking of fights, let's see who we got here. I see a blue robe. Well, that is the water hag taking a bath. Uh, not a place you want to see him. Free fight out of the pool early on. Not uh, we experience in that spot though to waste that time. No, not not at all. Uh, check in the Dampsian basement. Good place to find some of those J items. And Martin looks talking. like he's going to check out uh, Antlion. Yeah, Antlion. Not much health. Not much health at Antlion. So easily with you know the samurai mute that's on uh, Porum there. Speaking Shouldn't of have an issue. Belt. You know, sometimes the Dampsian basement pays out. But is it going to be the big difference? We'll find out. Launching the hovercraft, as we already do have one of the two tails, but still no hook. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I didn't even. I did see <laughs> something, but I didn't know what it was. And uh, yeah, it's a heroin rope. Yeah. Uh, so what about a black belt? <laughs> yeah, who needs a black belt? Heroin rope. Yeah, Porum is going to go shooty shooty pew pew. And that's going to be our early game damage. And we got a free fight. Kaipo guards. This is another fight you don't want to see early on. Well, not, uh, not if you're a runner, if you're us, you, this gives us hope for a lot of chaos later. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I kind of put myself full. I put myself 50-50 in the runner shoes and as a commentator. It's like I like seeing these early fights as a runner, but as commentator, oh, I, I want. Gonna get, I'm gonna get newspaper because uh, I've been calling for this Edward for a bit. Hey, at least we have a dancing dagger for him, and we get some leg here. So, I mean, we uh, still our early damage is going and to be... Uh, you've got our underground access. Ooh, that's a bit spicy. I wonder if we check the, uh, at least on Martin's side, we check the Hobbs character, go underground and pop an egg. Get levels on that forum so we can get up our deals, get that Tela online for all that utility spells. And yes, Chad, it was, it was legward. Legward? I, I can go with Legward. Um, so let's find some mute arrows. Deciding to loot the back of Hobbs with Tella with the exit. Not that much of a time loss in, in most cases, so gonna be able to exit right off the back of Hobbs here. Finds a long sword fire and just some samurai gear, which nobody in this party can really use. At least it would be a, might be a little bit of money though. Yeah, definitely early money. Uh, being able to sell stuff to buy better stuff like samurai arrows or you know, better equipment for a later on party. Or even just to afford some camping gear too. Oh, definitely. Can't forget the camping gear. Got, got to be able to go hiking with that trail mix. So, it uh, looks like Martin following the footsteps of Zilch. Loot in the back half of Hops. It is way a little bit higher. Um, since it is kind of out of the way. So 
the oh. Zilch doing an uncommon thing of checking the uh, save room in good old Antlion. Finds a Boreas for a J item. Full looting Antlion. That's not something you see all the time. That's oh, Charm Charmer. Claw. <laughs> well, the seed is now fully validated. Charm Claw has been found. I am happy. Martin deciding to go underground. Wants to get his freebies out of the way. I think as soon as you find something like Baron Key or Earth Crystal, we know which direction that they're going to be going. Exactly. Especially that Earth Crystal, because they're, they're going, especially with this team, we're going straight for the treasury to see if we can get some gear. Yeah, I mean, this particular team is looking for like a Stardust Rod, uh, Artemis Bow, uh, you know, we can always hope that there's going to be a Crystal Sword in there and no Cecil shows up in the seed. Why would you wish that on the runners? <laughs> That's the commentator side of myself. Now, as I mean, runner, I'd hope to find... Oh, I'm joining you in this, but we're terrible, aren't we? Uh, you know, it, some runners want it that way. They want the difficult. They want suffering. They want to challenge themselves. Sometimes easy isn't fun. You know? Oh, very much so. Zilch picking up his magma key. Will Zilch go up ordeals or will he go down? Martin checking the armor and weapon shops in the back of Agar, maybe looking for a curse string or some more agility manipulation gear. Not much that uh, good old Porum can wear uh, besides that hero in robe. Going down into self to to check uh, check on Yong there. No pan yet. Yeah, but as you said, always check your freebies. You know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, there's a little bit of deja vu here as uh, some things are starting to look a little familiar. Oh, do tell. Uh, it, it's a little bit of, it's a little bit of spoilers oh. from last race. Nothing major, but that's the exact same chest that was a trap both these runners ran. We've been seeing that a lot lately, too. Yeah, it, it's two chests right there in Sylph. You're underground. They're right in your kind of path to check. So you can easily loot those. If it's a trap, you can reset and you go right back in. Sometimes you can spike something good from there. Because there are seven trap chests in that area, it has a little bit of higher loot rate waiting. So sometimes there's something really good in there. Um... But if you just buy two trap chests, you know, what's the harm? If you find something good. Zilch now going underground. You know, Martin's uh, looting, looting the Fey March. Not a bad place to loot. Will Martin trap the one trap chest in here? That is the question. You walk by that one. Oh, he avoids it. <laughs> that one chest there has some. Uh, could be mean. You walk right by it. You think, should oh, I no, loot I it? Should I right not? Free Thunderclaw? We know there's a Yong in the bed. So there may be use for that Thunderclaw. Even if we find an edge, also, again, use for that claw. And if we there's... find it, I did see a mute dagger there too. I finally got a middle sword. Not too much ninja equipment, except for that Murasame we yes, just pulled. Uh, is is Edge going to be in this seed? Probably I mean, not now. No, that's usually how it works. You find the equipment for any particular character, and they never show up. And you hold on to all this gear for them, and by the end you're like... Time to hawk everything so I can buy equipment for my final party. Martin's gonna give us a look at the bosses here. Yeah, let's check these fame arches. The, there's no extra value here except and for. We got pain man. Yes, yeah, so we've got a uh, definite nope and a. You also can sit nope. there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a nope. I'm out of here. 
those dark waves would hurt like a truck, and pale dim there is going to hit like a truck too. And we are built like paper. Pretty much. I mean, Pora may have the hair on realm, so it, it's more of like cardboard because it's a bit tougher. But against pale dim, it's it's still paper. They'll just about to find the DKC and Sparkle here. Checks the Sparkle as well. I can just imagine when they saw that DKC, they're like, no. Well, I think they're going, nope, I'm not fighting you and thankful you're not in another spot. You know, like let's say Cave Bahamut. Because <laughs> Cave that Bahamut as an objective with DKC, anything that uses attack power, you know, like Dark Wave or Bygen, th those will hurt. Because if I remember correctly, the attack power is basically set up to the max for that spot. Yeah, there are a few spots that uh, have higher attack power, and it's usually in spots that don't actually physically hit you. Leviathan doesn't physically hit you, Bahamut doesn't, neither does Ashura. Martin popping an egg here, casting South Patella. I mean, we could be, we could get an ant lion at Cave Bahamut. That would be very fun. Ooh, that would be. Hey, at least he'd be on the moon where he's supposed to be. Ooh, Teller running out of MP for a stop cast here. Hopefully, going to be able to do the damage. Porum pulls it out. It. Thirty-four thousand experience. Yum yum That'll yum get yum yum. Definitely gets you going. Will Zilch do the same? Zilch, checking the same chest Martin does, finds that trap, resets, going back in to check the other one, finds a full moon. Decent now we're weapon for edge. Not an edge. Yeah, decent weapon for edge. It back rows him. Uh, an all around great weapon for him. But we still have no edge. Zilch throwing down a save. He's going to yes. check some more chests. Yeah, checks the two chests on the way, finds a Cure 3 and a Ninja Hat. The more agility manipulation gear. Always nice to have. Martin going back here to oh, Waterfall here. Going to take on the Water Hag? Interesting. He hadn't checked that yet. Oh, I got mixed up. I thought he'd already checked that. Get love when you cross streams. It's never a good idea to cross the streams. Bad things can happen. Look what you did, Ray! I mean, sorry. <laughs> oh, I mean, there is a ghost in that particular fight, so I mean... Uh, looks like Zilch is doing the same thing of uh, taking on an egg here early on. And Martin's gonna do Fabul and give us that Sheila One check. Yeah, setting up uh, Sheila One, and then uh, taking all the, the damage tiles. Gonna get the free heal from Fabul here. Opting to check Sheila One first, because if Sheila One gives you the pan, you're gonna go right back underground, take more damage, and then come back up and get the full heal from Fabul here. Was that a Gungnir? I believe so. And that was a Stardust. Uh, okay, well, if we find an alt gauntlet here early on, at least uh, we have uh, an AoE that Tella has. Is it, you use it as an item that cast Comet, which for either of the two fights on Ordeals or even here at Fabul, it's going to one-shot these uh, fights. Zilch coming in here right behind Martin to Fabul. Also cracked the egg and got that wonderful yummy experience. What, Yang, what are you doing attacking your own castle? He's he's testing the defense rating. Okay. How are you supposed to test how defensible your castle is without attacking it yourself when no harm can actually come? And Martin's through the Karate Man. Looks like the defenses are doing very well at Fabul here. 
Yeah, no, so yeah, that's what, what happened. Like. Yang lo Yang left his key at the uh, in, inside and locked himself out. So. <laughs> and we get the tower key from the king. No keyless tower tonight. No, definitely not. Uh, I think I think it's about time to hit ordeals, get all those spells on Tella. Because where the start of this route is great, and having just a level one, you know, ice one, ice or fire one, lit one, gonna run out of value here soon. Yeah, especially before you you want to have those better spells before you start taking a look at say dwarf castle or the tower. Right. Up to buy an Azura summon. We have seen Rydia at the Baron Inn. So, up to buy the Azura. Now. Well, I but still maybe think not it's... because of that goal base. Yeah, right. So, I would still think to hit ordeals first. Three bosses up here. We still have Wyvern we're looking for. A possible D Mist for more progression. Okay, <laughs> Martin, come on. Look, I said it earlier, Martin is the master of RNG, pulls a Stardust Rod out of a Chocobo forest. Like, I just picture that Chocobo walked up with it in its mouth, just, here you go. <laughs> right? And then turns around and finds a Boris and an Odin summon on ordeals. Okay, we've got uh, we've got uh, Hobbs being the Rhea kit here. You know? The Chocobo giving you the Stardust Rod for you get the Odin summon. You've already picked up an Ashura. Okay. <laughs> Our restreamer confirming that the Chocobos are definitely colluding. Well, I mean, you, you gotta get help somehow, somehow in the seed. And we find Dark Elf here at the first fight. Not bad. I mean, we as a runner, you wish something else is here. Uh, but, uh, however, with this kit, we can't even take advantage of the fact that when it transforms, it loses the boss bit. Well, we still can. Tella does have stop, at, even without the uh, ordeals kit. That is so, true. I forget about that. Once he gets in the dragon form, the fight's just shut down with a stop cast. You don't have to worry about taking any extra damage. It's it's later on when you want to cast weak to finish the fight faster. This particular spot, not too much HP, not going to be hitting very hard, so it's more of an annoyance. Getting great use out of that Dancing Dagger, gets through the Dark Elf fight. And we're on to the next fight, the back attack fight. Is it everyone's wonderful uh, Valvalis here? just an Octomom. Not particularly fun, though. No, you know, the back attack does give him first strike, but with Octomom, you hit him three times, he loses a tentacle, you hit him two more times, and he just gets slower and slower and slower. To the and point where he doesn't even get a turn. Here either. No, not at all. And right as chat said it, there's that Berserk on forum. Yeah, definitely want to be able to save those arrows, uh, get the extra damage boost. And so, Berserk has its many, many uses. You'll love to see people go into a rage. Zilch, however, switched over to lit arrows, doing some extra damage, catching up both runners, finishing the fight about the same time. Goes See, to the power like of hitting right weaknesses. There. I think Martin was using charm arrows. Shows you the difference of actually hitting a weakness on a boss. Martin no, goes heard, back uh, to save. I've heard an interesting thing about the pixel remaster. Is it true that they took out the little bloop from, from the wall there? I, from what I've heard. I haven't gotten to that particular section myself, but from what I have heard, they have taken out the little bloop. Yeah, which is like the keep best part. That. Exactly. <sighs> and we get the radio uh, huffing and chat saying they took out the bloop. Oh, we're going to the moon. 
Oh, we found darkness? We found darkness. Yeah, it's hidden by dark imps. Well, this begs a question. We, we, we get Rydia. We see if there's a fifth character on the moon. If there is a fifth character on the moon, is this our final party? I mean, it's a doable party. Yeah, he, he uh, you know, four person zero miss is not that bad. No, but we want we would like a fifth so we at least get the slingshot experience on two people, get those massive levels. Because Rydia by Rydia getting her to uh, nuke levels. <laughs> yeah. Her experience curve is enormous. I think it's like an extra, what, 200, 300,000 experience for her to get nuke over Palom? I, I just know it's, it's rough. I don't know it, the exact numbers, though. Yeah, I'm not as sure either myself on the numbers, but it is just rough to get her to nuke. Looks like Martin is going, going into the darkness crystal. Yeah, gonna gonna raise the big whale. Will Zilch follow suit with that Golbez and Rio leaming in Baron in uh, Zilch? I don't think checked Baron in. Going to Baron in. I'm gonna see this Golbez and Rydia. Will he opt to take the fight? Ooh, going to the shop first. Oh, his bag is full too. Yeah, and uh, looks like he's gonna have to take care of this inventory boss here. It's always a hard choice to figure out what you wanna sell, what you wanna keep. Like there's certain things you know you're gonna sell. Right, like but the leather hat and things like that. Right, but when you're sitting there going, do I keep this ninja equipment? Do I keep this heavy armor? What armor can I get rid of? I don't know who's all in the seed. Zilch looking, thinking, gonna take on this Golbez here. Not a lot of HP in this first spot here. Hopefully you can get the Edward to hide so Ooh, Shadow nice. doesn't eat anybody. Gets the hide on Edward. Entire party is safe. Nobody's getting eaten tonight. But is that it? Well, it depends on what the second fight is. Yeah. Horum, however, resisting the paralyzation because she has the heroin robot. And as Chad points out, Martin does buy a curse ring. Ooh, finds a curse ring. Great piece of equipment to have. You can set your agility, which in short terms, you can know your battle order with that. Otherwise, it's to me, it's kind of a guessing game on who's going to go in what order. Zilch getting through Golbez. Martin's checking the, sec the character up here on the moon. Will it be a value? Ooh. Dr. Dialogue is here at Baron Inn. And we've got an edge. Well then, that is a thing. Grr. Balda, go away. <laughs> so I think we'll be stealing sirens here shortly on Martin's side. Uh, but definitely want to check the uh, Bahamut fight first to see if it is a free fight. We've got Murasami for him. We've got... I'm not sure if Martin has a full moon or boomerang, but still got some ninja equipment and plenty of things to dart. Meanwhile, Zilch still going through this Dr. Dialogue fight. Gets through it. One of the very rare times that you're going to get a lot of good equipment for someone and then actually get the character. And gets the legend sword. That is oh boy. objective right there. We got a sparkle on Cave Bahamut. Is it Wyvern? Is it, it the right Dirty here. Double?
We are spicing it up right now. It is a dirty double here on the mountain. We have found Wyvern. Okay, so two objectives done. Just need to figure out which of the other three we're going to be doing. We have half a forge on Zilch's side. I don't think I have seen the dirty double in any of the races that I've watched yet. Uh, I don't think I have either, so this is quite spicy here. Martin taking the whale to Baron. Maybe still opting to do the coveted D machine grind here just because of Rydia's experience curve. Getting her the levels in Sirens without 10 key items, you're going to need to steal like 30, if not 35. But Martin's going to be taking on uh, Golvez here. Size in one person, pig right taking now the other. Too. Yeah, the uh, the thing with Golbez is you can size your character, you can poison them, you can turn them into a pig, anything to prevent them from getting paralyzed at the beginning. Right, because their statuses in this game have certain ones have priority, correct? Yep. So if you're already pickified, you can't get berserked, you can't get paralyzed. Same with size, because they have a higher priority for being applied. Same with mutant poison. Funny how some things just uh, override everything else. Who's gonna get eaten on Martin's side? Well, Zilch here is gonna find his moon ninja, has a Murasame, and a full moon for him. Gonna be able to deck out his edge real fast. And I don't believe Martin ever found that full moon either. No, but still, I believe Martin has Murasame on at least, which is a really good weapon for an edge. And I'm pretty sure he also found a mute dagger for him, so. Yeah, the secondary weapon, mute dagger, assassin dagger, still other great options for an edge. Oh, has a long sword. Just as good as that full moon. Martin making quick work. Uh, Zilch going straight to the giant. Not even check cave Bahamut. So once Martin gets through this, I believe we're going to be having some dueling D machines. With uh, very few key items. Only five. As the runners, you hate to see it. As commentators, we're indifferent about it. Martin picks up his legend sword. Now, who would we say is technically in the lead right now? I honestly don't know. Martin like, does have the knowledge advantage right now. Like, yeah, it's a matter of perspective. Like, you have Zilch, who's already in the giant, gonna be getting into his grind beforehand. You've got Martin, who has the knowledge of Wyvern at cave value. Which, who you say is in the lead? And then the other thing is that the, that knowledge advantage is kind of negligible because by the time that Zilch goes to check that spot, he's not gonna need to back out again, most likely. Yeah. Martin actually deciding to go underground here. He's gonna opt to steal, si opting to steal sirens over the D machine grind, I believe. I mean, in some runners' cases, you're just gonna steal enough sirens, get enough levels on your party to be able to do moon bosses. I mean, and we do also have up. that tower key, so he might also be looking into clearing here, too. Oh, maybe find up to 10 cams with long chains? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a very, very honest option, too. We do have a Thunderclaw on this Young, so going to be able, not Young, Edge, to be able to take out these uh, searchers, no problem. We do have the Porum Cry combo, too. So stealing sirens is going to be not a problem. 
because that cry reduces what is it the two dollar sign f stat which is uh in increases the steel ratio i like dollar signs dollar signs are always good Ooh, half tower play going for the half tower play I mean, he does have Legend Sword. He's looking for one other key item. Either it be Adamant, Earth Crystal, Baron Key. Finds the Mom Bomb here. Oh no, not this fight. <sighs> Generally speaking, this fight in this room is super quick, but Mom Bomb breaks everything. Do you know why that is, Smoke? Mom Bomb is just inherently slow. It is inherently slow, but do you Other know why? That, I don't know why. Mom Bomb in every boss location besides her own gets an extra 9,000 HP. That's just mean. Yeah, well, it's to help out her, uh, her explode script. That's pretty much what it's there for. But well, we're gonna have the uh, baby bombs come on out and then use a blizzard and, and that's done. Just quick work. Exactly. Zilcha, the beaver searcher fight. Is it the right fight? Or is it gonna be the horseman? You never want it to be the horseman. Will Martin check the top of tower? I think, so. yep, yeah, he is. I was just gonna say, I think he is. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be key item diving, you wanna try and get to 10 before you grind. Don't and hate to not see that it. that far a trip either. Right. But getting 10 key items shrinks your grind in half, because once you have 10, you get double experience on every fight thereafter. Phillips throwing the Thor Rage to summon up the uh, monster here. Is it the D-Machine? It is. And he'll be on well on his way to getting massive levels. And we're going to have some orbs here on the uh, tower. And we found and dolls like on the ground. French vanilla dolls. Uh, nope, the dolls are in Baron. Or in oh, yeah, no, that's right. That, I apologize. Yeah. That's the vanilla ruby spot that the dolls are at, and CPU in the Good Doctors. Not a bad fight anywhere for CPU. Uh, it's just a matter of how much of a slog is it going to be. You know the damage you're taking is going to be predictable. It's 10% of your HP every time. Question is, can you outheal it? Looks like Parton's going to be going for Zerkin up Edge. Might Zerk up uh, good old Porum here. Going for the Zerk Blink Strats. So, so, so Smoke, do you know how many different uh, types of strategies there are for the CPU fight? No, I do not. Well, there are quite a few. There's either A, you just blitz it, berserk everybody, cast all your quakes, cast your Bahamas, Leviathans, whichever. Don't care about the Club 199s. You have the reflected float. So what you do is you cast a wall or star, star veil on somebody, use a character that knows float, and you hope that you get the 50-50 of getting float on the small orb so you continuously quake it or you can zerk everybody up and continuously blink the small orb. Therefore, you don't have to worry about it dying. Interesting. Never thought about blinking the small orbs before. Yeah, it's one of those little niche things that you never think about blinking the enemy. Like, you're, you're buffing the enemy here. Why would you want to do that? And then when you think about it, it actually saves you a lot of damage. Yeah, because the, these Globe 199s, 
at this particular spot, if you have enough health, they're not going to kill you. Uh, but it, with the health totals we have right now, they'll probably one shot you because I think they do around 9 to 1100. So, we're not being, not to blink the orb anymore. Just going for the straight out damage. Rydia got knocked out by the globe 199. Tella missed that lit three. Yes, because uh, Rydia had the wall cast on her. So when she died, the wall did with her too. Oh, he was trying to reflect it off of Rydia, okay. Yeah, because the CPU actually has a uh, wall up on himself, so you can't direct cast music. Uh, magic here. I wonder if Martin has any uh, anything really good for him to dart. Uh, looks like he's just going to reset out of this. Uh, will he opt to try again? Or just go, nope, it's fine. I'm out of here. Uh, he's going to try again. Nope, he's leaving the oh, tower. No, he's leaving. Yeah, he is out of here. Uh, probably would do the Medio, but doesn't have a Soma drop to give Tella that 100 MP to be able to cast it. Finds a trap chest. Crying like, with Porum. Yep, we're stealing Sirens. Knocking out the uh, Eddie. Gonna knock out the Rydia and Tella here. It's going to be the Porum Edge show soon here of the in, constant in a moment. It will be. Yeah, the constant crying and stealing. Yeah, apparently Tello can't even die correctly. It, he's got just six health. He's like, no, no, I, I want to participate. Uh, I he couldn't do this. even kill himself. He's like, I can participate. OK, I can stop it. Just just let me please. OK. Just look at my awesome beard. <laughs> uh, poor him knocking out uh, Tella there. And here comes the stealing. Poor him just so, in. Look, old man. Just get on the ground now. It, it's time for your nap. It's nap time. So, in, in a way, we have two different eyeballs on the screen. We have a blue and we have a purplish one. Hmm. It's like they are... Uh... Just color palette swapped, almost like the old school Mortal Kombat ninjas. Yeah, I mean, and what one's a searcher, one's an alert. I mean, one's scorpion, one's the... up zero. I mean, what's the difference? Yeah. Two different grind options. Poor I'm trying to to knock herself out here. Not even able to do that. Uh, what's my... oh going to be using the hourglass here? This is a very heads up play. Um, the Hourglass 2 cast stop, but for a really, really long time. Uh, why would you want to stop the alert here? So you don't get that option at the top that says identifying target. Just a big time saver right there. Oh yeah, definitely. Because that eats eats up time, just having that constantly pop up. You're not being able to get into your menu. So definitely casting that hourglass too. Going to be able to steal all his sirens here that he wants. Moving him up higher on the list to see. That is an easy way of you just look at your item. Okay, I've got this many. Keep stealing. So opting for the second grind option. Instead of uh, doing a D-Machine, doing the sirens may get him into fight sooner. I'm gonna have to ask Martin about that, whether it's just something that he prefers to do sirens or just doesn't enjoy D-Machine or what? Well, I know some runners, uh, they don't like doing the D-Machine. It's been such a, a meta thing lately in most terms, like if you don't have sirens, well, you know what grind you're doing versus you have sirens in the seed, you know what you're doing. Sticks a long sword on. He's stolen enough. He's done. Finds a Dragoon Lance. Not a Did bad you weapon. How many to he uh, managed to steal? Because I totally lost count. 
I lost count as well. I don't think he stole. Maybe maybe he has 15. Just still a relatively decent number. But gonna definitely hope to find uh, 10 key items before he pops those. Speaking of key items, we're gonna find out what the one he got from that tower key is. Yeah, if it is the Adamant Rock, that puts him in full go mode. Uh, gonna be able to forge. We've got Game Bomb and Wyvern all ready to go. Uh, oh wait, I missed no, counting. No, we need there. to do we four out of five. Need either we're still gonna need either the Baron Key or the Earth Crystal. Yeah, look, counting is hard. Okay. Oh, speaking of chains, Twin Harp. Ooh, that could take a while. I I I don't think we checked the harp here. I think I think. Um, hmm. You gotta do it for the people. But yeah, but do you really want to sink two minutes into that check? I mean. It's a boss check, it's a key item check, I can see it. Meanwhile, you know, Zilch finished with his grind, has new gone Ridia. Gonna be able to microwave the rest of this seed. What is Martin going for here? Oh, he's checking the shop. He was down here earlier. I wonder if he saw some equipment here. Gonna be selling a bunch here. He must have, because he was going with a purpose. Maybe he found some ninja swords. Oh, opting to buy some ninja stars. Interesting. Well, I mean, in the, in this new update that recently came out, they increased the price of the drain spears. As you can see, they're super expensive. Even decided to buy some of those too. They reduce the price of the ninja stars, increase the price of the drain spears to hopefully get rid of the meta of always buying all these drain spears, but Martin's still buying a few drain spears. Drain spear hype. Zilch checks the uh, elements boss just a mile on and friends. And decided to check Dwarf Castle here. Now I have a quick question that I've it's something that I've been noticing a lot. Why do we, why just use the cabin there when literally just a short distance to the left is just a free heal? A free heal, but you have to think of the time of landing there, going in, coming back out, getting in your airship, going over, landing again, and then saving. Yeah, you're in a race scenario, yeah, you're right. You are thinking of a time sink of at least twenty, twenty five seconds right there? I mean, you can definitely hit the pot and then walk in the back but then you have to remember to exit oh we have an alt gauntlet oh boy alt yeah. gauntlet of dwarf castle yeah in the chat saying same reason the people cabin next to the whale yeah I, that yeah. question just came from me as just a casual player of, a, of the of the game so yeah you, you're in a race you, you're not always thinking of free ways of doing everything you're just thinking, this is what I have, this is what I've got to do. I'm gonna be seeing the flames coming off of uh, the ninja boy himself. Opting just to keep everybody up. Rudy is gonna get some experience here. Wonder who the character's gonna be once we finish all of these fights here. So I'm gonna heading guess up the tower. It's gonna be a duplicate Tella. Yeah, but we can go with a dupe Tella, or, or, or a dupe Edge, just just to rub it in. Oh, that would be mean. I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, you could have either gotten your Edge on the Moon or here at Dwarf. Moon was the better play for that for that Edge. Oh yeah, or or to to really like rub it into Martin, be it a cane as he just sold the Dragoon Spear. Oh, yeah, it's Martin. He'll find another one. This is true. Generally, you, you, you use one, you find another one. Sticking the mute knife on the uh, the edge here. And some more niche tech here. That mute knife is actually going to increase the uh, edge's flame damage. So, 
as we know these fights get supposedly harder and harder as you get more and more in each one i never noticed how angry the sprites of those tortoises were oh they just look terribly angry like i'm gonna eat you i'm hungry <laughs> can't point out so so your gonna spear get a cane find an avenger yep that sounds like martin rng yeah, that, that would be a Martin thing to do. Zilch, direct casting, nuke on the CPU, gets it out before the wall is even up. Martin's yeah. almost finished with this alt gutlet yeah, here. At this point, Zilch is just gonna stomp through some stuff for a while. Oh, definitely. You've, you're gonna microwave the seed. A lot of these early fights here in the game are not going to stand a chance. Because they don't think you're going to have the type of spell at this time. <laughs> Surprised that wall still hasn't come up yet on the uh, CPU, but that's just a uh, agility shenanigans for you. We've got a oh, Bahamut a here. Fight right there. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We're both getting bopped right now. Swear I'm not a witch. <laughs> I swear. I... Mark oh, I may have had this choice four letter words right there for a quick moment or I'm two. More of a button. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I am not a witch. It's just what happens, you sell the, the piece of equipment for somebody and they immediately show up next. You sell the Excal, Cecil shows up. You sell the Dragoon Spear, Kane shows up. You sell the Morizame, Edge shows up. Exactly. Or you oh, get through a fight. And Zilch just got the package off of Top of Tower. Well, okay, so may not have the greatest value there. Uh, could be hiding our Demist. For, for Zilch, not be, not checking cave uh, value yet, for him, could be a Wyvern check. Yeah, uh, as chat saying, okay, fine, you're not a witch, you're a wizard, Tybalt. Fine, I think I can deal with that. I think I can deal with being a wizard. Still not happy about it. <laughs> and for Martin, we find... Earth crystal. Earth crystal. Just need now. We just need one more key item. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Our restreamer pointing out that you are absolutely weak to the mute dagger. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, it's definitely one of my weaknesses. I, I tend to stay far away from that dagger. So. Probably going to be going straight to the treasury. <laughs> Since that is one of our objectives here, more than likely going to loot it, hopefully find some gear for that cane, and probably go up Zot. Yeah. Like, you're right here. It's two more bosses, another key item check. You're looking for Baron Key or an adamant rock and might as well check the shops while we're here too yeah and definitely get ahead of that inventory boss yeah sell your inventory before you go loot 18 chests in that treasury because otherwise you're gonna be sitting there hitting that boss every single time yeah that's not a good feeling when you're in the, especially when you're in something like the treasury Oh, yeah, because you're just like, loot, okay, no, loot, drop, loot, drop, loot, drop, and just, uh. And here we go. Gonna be turning this earth crystal. Yes, yes, we have the earth crystal. Time for us to get some loots. But, as we say, it's time for everybody's favorite game, Rate That Treasury. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. No, well, 
Not a defense sword, found a white spear, another Murasami, full moon. Uh, the hero uh, rope, which we're not going to be able to use. Well, no. Pretty no. can use it, but not useful, right? Well, she can use it if she has the Azura spell, which doesn't really hurt. Um, Azura doesn't use your magic for her healing. So you can stick the heroin robe on her just so she can keep up with the party. And Martin's going to give the people what they want. I'm doing the twin harp. Zilch, meanwhile, finding the alt gauntlet. Going to be able to blaze right through this as uh, he has every spell he ever wants. Yeah, and the people that love to fade the harp are rolling right now. Oh, yeah, fading harp. Common thing nowadays, because it is a long walk down here. Oh, I wish he was giving us cheesecake. You know, I mean, you walk that's, down that's here, it's nothing. Ooh, uh, I'm not a big cheesecake person. Unfortunately, lactose intolerant. Ooh. So, yeah. But, just like my weakness may be the mute knife, the Dark Elf's weakness is music. Martin, real quick, re equipping Kane here. Still wants to make sure it has some metallic gear on so this first fight goes out real fast. Re equipping, sticking the double mur on him. And uh, will we see a. Uh... Kamikaze or uh, oh, gonna be doing a stone cast doesn't get it out before the uh, the magic cast here gonna be uh, seeing the wonderful spells from dark elf and everybody's down and it's about that time for good old DJ Spoonie B to play us some tunes and he's pulling double duty right now, too. Oh, yeah. Not only is he in a party, but his twin is about to play us some music. Let's make a moment of silence for DJ Spoony B. And it looks like that was the uh, the price of freedom from gold crisis core finds a Zeus gauntlet here great equipment for that edge Rydia too can wield it now now that she's an adult though I don't think she will be yep I think she'll eventually be on some good old healing duty with that Azura just don't hope for the uh, the good old uh, gray face Meanwhile, Zilch getting through the Alt Gauntlet, getting through that Bahamut, gets the Earth Crystal, going to open up the treasury. Will he loot it? Also, he ditched a Swole Word. And Got the as king. we expected, Martin is going up the Tower of Zot. Yep. And not even opting to check for the Flame Dog in the first chest, maybe the second chest. Zilch not looting the treasury, feels comfortable with the equipment and gear that he has. 
can't blame them. I always like to think if I've got high enough levels, I don't need the gear. If I've got lower levels, I pretty much need the gear. And also, his party won't benefit that much from the items in there. No, I, I think... Not sure what Kane's going to be able to wield here. Um, but Kane has a wide variety of weapons that he can use. He can use the spears, ogre axes. I think it was mainly a uh, Val insurance on Zildjah's side. Because there's a lot of spots that if she's in her tornado spin, can't hit her with magic. And, ooh, sparkle. But we know it's not the sparkle that we're looking for. No, and it's just a plague. Well, Kane's going to be doing some extra damage here with that white spear. But is uh, doing some jumping, so still going to be doing some extra damage. Meanwhile, Martin starting to make Dark, use of those ninja stars. They do a decent amount of damage. Like, one of the worst parts about them is that they, uh, they have a long animation time. Meanwhile, Zilch is just gonna nuke it. Stick it in the microwave. And on Zilch's side, I think Plague's about to uh, go down here. I think one more nuke or attack from Edge here takes him out. Now, if you're Martin, are there any characters you'd take here? Ah, uh, on Martin's side, I, I mean, you could think about ditching Tala for Rosa for an extra Zerk caster, uh, maybe a Palum. But I, even I would feel fairly comfortable with this particular team. The only one that kind of is a, will end up falling behind is that Tella. Found both Young and a Palum. Must bard. <laughs> Always must bard. Uh, ditches the young. Ditches the tele for Palum. Uh, we were not going to be using the weak at all from from Tella. We've got the sirens. And chat, that is correct. Uh, Zilch does not know yet about uh, Wyvern in Bahamut. Now, Zilch went up to the moon, checked the character, immediately did his grind and came back down and yes. speaking and of free fights right here edge going to have to dart some spears at his parents meanwhile all the stuff that we've put edge through i'm sure he's used to it by now yeah i mean are these really still his parents with how they've been transformed like it's a sad thought to think the doctor did a number on him no, it's not. Kill them. <laughs> With respect, of course. Absolutely. You shed a manly tear afterwards. Yep. One tear is acceptable. Single. <laughs> Martin getting through the fight. Same with Zilch, right behind him. Just looking for that one more key item. Where, oh where... Is the Baron Kier adamant going to be? Not Ooh. there. Found a rat tail. Still no hook to turn those tails in. Still no Baron Key. Martin still has the top of tower looming overhead. Does he go to the top of tower? I do believe so. That looks now like we he's know going to... that it's just the package. Oh, he's throwing down a safety save, it looks like. Maybe, or or deciding to pop some uh, sirens here just to get a little bit more experience before trying to take on that uh, CPU again. <laughs> As Chad point out, you know, one of the first rules of free enterprise is do your objectives, do your freebies. Muhammad's an objective. Yep, cave actual dragon. Yeah. Well, Muhammad, yeah, it is an actual dragon there today. Because Wyvern's an actual dragon. Correct. But Muhammad's not. Nope. 
Game coding's weird. <laughs> yeah, Bahamut's a faker. Yeah, looks like a dragon, breathes fire like a dragon, but is not a dragon. Zilch here, going to cave value, gonna find out it's wyvern here, gonna see what the opening move is. What 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 opening wyvern move are you looking for? Well, we've already seen what it is, actually. We did? I must have missed it yes, then. Yes, it is weak. Oh, it's weak? It is weak. <laughs> oh. Well, then, it is the uh, stepbrother to Storm. <laughs> I must have missed that. I just saw the uh, Bahamut and then the reset. Would have been funny if it was like retreat or vision or explode. Because those means you don't have to fight it. And nobody misses the dodges the weak cast. <laughs> Everybody's in critical HP. I think that Kane still has the Spear Spear on. There's still quite a bit of seed and, and, and Zilch may have his grind done, but there could still be that cheeky check that Martin makes that could pull him back into this. We have seen it happen before. It is not over until Uramis is fading into the dust. Exactly. Now it could be a cheeky as a as a demisted package holding the Baron key and the Baron key having adamant. Wouldn't that be a fun one? <laughs> would that no, be considered I... a dirty double? Uh yeah, that would be considered a dirty double too. Because the Baron key would then get your other objective. So, not, not that I'm trying to wish that on our runners at all. Maybe kind of. Because <laughs> nobody ever checks Dima's package. Everybody finds that package and goes, nah, I don't care about the character. I I'm not even going to bother checking it. I'm out. Yeah, because even it's just still a long time, I think, just to check what the boss is. Yeah, Zilch through the Wyvern, get some crystal armor, hey, two objectives funny. done. Just needs one more left to go for him. Either finding the Baron Key or the Adamant Rock. I think that Zilch is going to do some moon hunting. Yeah, the question question comes to be, how do you do the moon? Do you do top down or do you bottom up? Nah, top down is what I think. Yeah, I would think top down would at least be the the best option. If you had the pass, I could definitely see doing bottom up as there's four key item checks all right together in a group. Uh, but if you're adamant or barons up at the top. Eh, you waste all the time down there. So, will Zilch do top down? Yeah, I would exactly. probably say so. And exactly, like, item density is bottom, but exactly like you said, if you find, if you don't find it until the very top and you start bottom, then you've wasted so much time. Right. In a race, time is everything. Martin getting through that CPU, taking his revenge. Will he end up following through as uh, he ended up going back? Will he follow that chain to check the boss, knowing that it's not Wyvern? The question is, if you're Martin, do you feel behind? I don't know if you feel behind, but t speaking of Demist, yeah. we found it here on the Murasami altar. Well, uh, well, Martin's going to be starting to do his uh, grind here. But I believe only has 10 key items. Does not have the full 10. 
We'll probably realize it here when he gets the 34,000 experience. But uh, maybe opting just to go, nope, it's fine. I'm going to have to do moon bosses. That's where the rest of my experience is going to come from. So if you're Zilch, you're looking for one of two key items. You fight Demas here up at Murasame. Do you put a save point at the, t at the moon here and check that Demist? Hmm. That is a good question. It doesn't take a lot of time, but as we've been saying, in a race, all the, every bit of time matters. Like, you're looking either for Adamant or Baron, you're gonna have to come back to the Earth for either one of them. Right, yes, exactly. That is also a good point. I didn't think about that. You still have to go back to Earth either way, so. Yeah, if it's a chain, it, it comes down to if it's a chain, do you chase it? Like, if you find Hook, do you chase it to check the, pit, the, the rat tail there? Well, if you find Hook, that's an easy yes, in my opinion. Yeah. Because that's, it's not two key item checks, but it's a key item check and a most likely a good item. Yeah, exactly. In this party... I mean, we're not looking for any of the top tier items, you know, maybe a life staff, maybe a white, white shirt would be nice. I forget, so, can you get a power shirt from the pink tail? No, power no, shirt's okay. tier six. Finds a ribbon from the Murasame altar, has the Demas as a possible check. Would you count that as friend Ranilla? Uh, no, it's too high up. Okay. If, if it was at the plague spot or the Ogopogo spot, definitely be but zilch do what i think chat believes yep going to check that demist put a save up here he's gonna check that demist and, and if he finds one of the two cool if not reset gonna be right back up here on the moon to continue on down I mean, even if you find something like the pass here at Demas, I don't think you go back. I think you just reset and leave the pass there. To save from the animation time. Unless you consider being cheeky and check the package while you're here too, if it's the pass. Well, Wait. there's no there's no value at package anymore. Right, but never mind. finding the I forgot that we just saw Demas, so... <laughs> Found that hook! You're not witches, by the way. <laughs> In no way, shape, or form have I seen this seed besides what is happening at this moment. I swear it. <laughs> Zilch opting to, to follow that chain of the rat yep. tail pink tail. Will it go into... I don't even want to say anything more right now because I feel like it's just going to be a witch moment even more. Fine, Will it lead fine. into the pan? I'll say it. I'll say it then. Will it lead into the adamant rock? That's not so much more of a chain. It's got to lead into something like the pan and the pan's got to lead into Luka Key. Luka Key's going to lead into, I don't know, the Baron Key? Just to have the longest chain possible for yeah, and then, and absolutely then from nothing. The Baron key, from the Baron key, you get the adamant rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just to, just for the spite. And let's see what this rat tail is. It is oh <laughs> Baron key. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Zilch has found the Baron Key. Gonna be turning in the rat ta pink tail here and gets Masamune. Well, great for that edge. Uh, so Zilch is now in go mode, has to liberate Baron Castle, and then uh, goes back up to the moon. So, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. We have found some pretty good gear for this edge already. Really actually not hitting the gray face on Martin's side.
I'm gonna be zerking up that edge, jumping with Kane. Well, I think as most people say, it is Zilch is far into the lead here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I'm wondering if in Martin shoes you find that Demist. Does he check it? Hard to say if he does or not. But I think with finding Demist early on the moon, it's something you gotta chase. Jura, ooh, hitting the gray face on Azura. Not exactly what you want to see, but this spot does have some uh, pretty terrible magic, so these nukes are not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. But here's some French vanilla for you as we have Kenazo at Bygen spot. I just like how Riddy is walking up with Kenazo behind her and just like, wait a minute, that's a turtle behind me. Yeah, I know, right? Takes one nuke to the face and uh, he's out of here. Martin working, working hard, casting quakes. Jumping up with Kane, gets through the wyvern, gets both objectives done. Radio was, in fact, turtly enough for the turtle club. Well, <laughs> I think we just had some uh, trading spaces here as we as Bygen is the usurper of Baron. Uh, so I decided to trade spots with Kenazo. I'm okay with that. Yep, this is fine. Not a bad spot for Bygen here. Gonna be a simple uh, a quake and swing and uh, Bygen's gonna be out of here. I mean, for me it is technically Friday, so would you consider this a freaky Friday? Yeah, I can consider that. Works for me. I am ashamed of myself now, by the way. <laughs> and we got just a simple old uh, monk here. Gonna be being sent back to Fabul. And what so are we gonna what, find? What's actually happening right here is that Yang is just gonna push them out. He's gonna do his tower thing here. Okay, I can see that. And he's just gonna hold the doors, hold the walls open, because he's just so strong. Yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna put his arms up, and be like, nope, walls gonna stop. Look at my beautiful muscles. I kind of think of him like uh, uh, Lieutenant Armstrong from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Handed down to the Armstrong line for generations. <laughs> And just, just the box in the trash. And gets the crystal. Meanwhile, Martin going to the Marasami altar. You're gonna be finding the Demist here. Will he chase it? Milch has his levels. Going to the whale. Not has the care in the world. Martin darting drain spears, casting quakes. Doing what he can to get through these fights as quickly as possible. Demus deciding to punch down both the twins. Step time for the kids. And welcome everybody from Moonblaze's channel. Uh, yeah, just in time for Zilch to be in go mode. We found the Baron Key via the Rat Tail. We got the hook here from the Demist, not the Murasame Altar. And uh, Zilch is going to be on his way. Did a very, very early D Machine grind uh, to get his uh, nuke on Rydia. So I had to start nuking the seed. And uh, we're going to be doing some long uh, walking of shame, as some people like to call it, because we don't have the pass. The runners we, wish they had found the pass. Do we swag walk it? Uh, no. I, I, I don't think we swag walk it. Um, 
I mean, it, some runners feel comfortable enough to swag walk, um, but sometimes it's better to be safe, safer than sorry. Especially if you don't have the pass, like it, it's such a long walk down to make that trek again. It's not like I've gotten Darkness Crystal from, you know, Fame Arch, Swag walked down to Z, wiped, and then had to redo the fight. No, that's never happened. No, never. Making the safety save here. Healing up before the Z fight. Is he going to take on some fights here to get some little bit of experience? I mean, now that you have the 10k item, you check to see if there's a free boss at least, I think. I mean, Kane's not exactly at Z levels. Going for the ribbon room. I mean, if it's not a split boss here, it's a free 200,000 experience. It's a split boss. Oh, you feel bad. Martin, however, not exiting. I didn't realize Elements was considered a split boss. Wow. Yep. Because it's actually... <laughs> this is one of the only other bosses besides the Romus that actually has a refill script with it. Since originally it is in the giant, it has more than 65,000 health. So once you transform from Ruby into Kenazo, it gets all of its health back again. And that really messes with the uh, experience. So it's uh, two, I did not know that. Two technical sprites here for the experience wise. So it, it, it hurts the experience in this spot. You hate to see it. Not going to get the full experience that's normally in this spot. Yeah, as, as, Ch as Chance pointed out, it's actually two monsters. Mylon and Ruby is one. Kinazo and Val is the other. Martin opting not to check the Demist. Going down to the LST. He's hoping to find the Baron Kier, the Adamant Rock. I mean, if he finds the Adamant Rock and the pass, there is still a chance. Vilch getting through the ribbon room. It's, I think, white on Porum? Just well, an app on the path. Oh, well, there's half of what Martin's wanting. I mean, the pass is always nice to see. Uh, Porum's at uh, an okay agility, I guess to say. And we stick in the uh, ribbon on her, or not the ribbon, ninja hat to bump her up to 29. And that one fight put uh, Kane up to level 41, which put him almost at 2000 HP. Yeah, so he's going to be able to survive almost uh, an unnerved Big Bang. Martin, Depending upon the roll, basically. Yeah, Martin saving down at the LST. Checked and saw those elements there. Going back to the earth to check that D mist. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Zilch setting up his party. Walking past the White Spear altar. Heading into the mirror rooms. Wonderful tiles down here. Is he going to take on the Yoga Pogo spot, or is he going to just swing right past it? Just going swing right by it. Right by it. Doing what we know. Heading down into the Lunar Core. I think Chat's, chat's starting to, to act up here with the... I think it's the nap time flags? It is getting a bit late. Yeah, for some people it's getting quite late. Uh... But, 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 but I, I, I could definitely use a nap right now, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can definitely agree with that, but uh, we all know what time it is. It's the final boss time. It's the Romus, the boss. We don't move around because uh, that'd be kind of a bit mean to find Zeromus sitting there at uh, Mist, <laughs> Mist Cave. No, what we do is we decide to change who he is. So, Smoke, go ahead and ask it. 
Whose butt are we going to kick tonight? With over 500 different sprites. Do you have a favorite Z sprite in mind? Uh, I just recently saw a really good one as well. Uh, it was uh, Emil from Nier. That was great. Uh, also, Moonmus is great. Oh, Moonmus. You want everybody to have nightmares from uh, Link to the uh, Majora's Mask, don't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I have some personal favorites. One of the ones that I always like to see. I definitely like to see Scalamus. Haven't I've seen that sprite enough. Oh, Scalamus is so great. But here we go. Crystal's been thrown. Who's it gonna be? I it believe is this is. Tra yeah, I believe this is. I want to say Chrono Trigger, but I'm. I guess I'm wrong here. Definitely the, not Chrono Trigger. Or, I don't think that's. Chrono it's Act Razor. It looks like. A game I have not played. Or heard of until more. Yeah, I know. I, I know which boss from Chrono Trigger you thought it might have been, but I know it's not. Yeah, like I've only ever played Chrono Trigger once or twice. How dare! So. <laughs> Luck. There's a lot first, of games out there. First, you call Major Armstrong a lieutenant. Okay, it's been a while since I've watched FMA. Okay, trust me, I love it. <laughs> Brotherhood over the original, okay? They both have their good things. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I realize now it's Colonel Armstrong. Because <laughs> you have the general as a sister. I got reason mixed I'm gonna up. Ignore that. <laughs> it's late, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm doing here. Major Armstrong. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm... I'm going <laughs> to have to rewatch it now. I'm going to have to re-educate re myself. <laughs> Why do I have to be so bad? <laughs> I, I, I already feel the newspapers coming from chat. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm getting mine ready, too. Because also, his sister, Olivia, is a major general. Mitten. Fine. <laughs> Still have the general part right, though. <laughs> <laughs> the Z fight looks like Zilch is throwing out nukes, throwing out whites and viruses. I believe opting for a partial hybrid strat here. Yeah, not getting a... All the damage is coming from the, the mages right now. Yeah. Gotta, gotta be really on top of keeping an eye on when that wall goes down, because if you get a really inopportune moment where you're, it drops and you cast and hit that target... Eh. Yeah, we're down in some uh, critical HPs here. Going to be opting to do a little bit of safety healing here with form of the cure four. Um, if if you don't have a, a second nuke caster, you're gonna be seeing the second big bang. So, I think Zilch is more or less going for safety here. Wants to make sure he doesn't wipe in this fight. Does okay, he try and I was going to say, and I think he probably pops a cure two item, and he did. He already had queued it up with Kane. Yeah, definitely. Since uh, that person with the wall is not going to get the uh, cure four. Yeah, looks like going for full reflect here. Nukes and whites, and just a good old virus from the kid. Meanwhile, Martin going find the Baron key, taking out Kainazo, taking out Biagen, about to get his crystal and be on his way. It looks like we've got Kane and Edge basically on pharmacy duty here. The good old chemists. I mean, if they're not going to be hitting oh. Zeromus. Oh. Massive Big Bang comes out here, knocks out Porum, knocks out Palum. 
and really Rydia in your is curse. gonna run out of HP in a second. And decides to nuke Kane in the and face as Kane the wall out. ran out. Oh boy. Gets a black hole. Might be able to recover this. No, nah, Rydia is about to run out of HP. Uh, oh, gets a cure okay, two off good, on good, her. Good. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to recover this. Can he do it? I mean, if you get the get pour him up, get a cure four out. I does haven't pour been. Pour him have life too. I don't think she does at this point. Like she learns it so late, opting just to go for it. Blitzing has he been counting the damage? It's zilch. I'm sure he has. Gonna be darting the Murasame, Murasame sword here. Uh, will it be enough? I don't know. Oh, oh Big Bang it. coming out. I right there. think this is gonna be a wipe here. We see the reset. Yeah, nobody was even over 400 HP there. Yeah. Uh, That's Martin. unfortunate. Martin finishing up his grind here. I don't think he takes Rydia to nuke. Again, trying to get her to nuke would take a long time here. Got as cure four on Porum now. Is that enough for him to go? Nope. Gonna Probably be doing some more. more. Meanwhile, Zilch going, walking back down gonna be getting into that z fight here quickly as a runner that uh, martin is going to have going into this if, if he makes it up in time is going to be the extra damage that his melees are popping out yeah got weak on to rydia there looked at his levels decided nope i'm good to go and is on his way too bad he did not grab that pass yeah, that pass would have been nice, but he reset out of the elements fight. Oh, it looks like it was weak on the kid. Maybe opting to finish up uh, some grinds on the moon. Oof. This is this is gonna be close. I'd say Martin's gotta maybe. Zilch maybe has to wipe one or two times for Martin to catch up here. If Martin's going straight to Z, uh, maybe a wipe from Zulch will definitely put him back into even even scores here. Yeah, it, it really depends upon what Martin decides to do here. Yeah. He's healing up with a cabin, so he's got some sort of a plan. Yeah, it's still got three sirens left in the tank. I wonder if he pops to do some uh, gold dragons. Does have weak on Palum. Maybe to, to finalize and get Nuke on, at least on him. Rydia, she'll have Nuke in time. But I think she's more of on a Azura duty at that point. Zilch, going in again, popping a Star Veil, throwing the crystal to nerf the first Big Bang. Gotta be throwing out white with uh, Porum here, reflected. And counter nuke goes on Rydia. Yeah, too bad we didn't find any silk weapon in this, huh? No, could have stolen them out, out from the centipedes. Out in front of Kakol. Uh, looks like Martin's going to be doing some uh, gold dragons here. Yeah, Zilch is a bit of a tr tricky spot here. Tr trying to do a, a, you know, reflect strat or more of a hybrid strat, it looks like trying to mix the damage from edge with the reflected spells to hopefully basically skip the refill uh kind of tricky have to do a lot of counting to make sure you don't hit that refill skip or you actually hit the refill script if i could word it correctly But this Big Bang's about to be popping out here. Martin, lifing up uh, Rydia here, I think. He's not done yet. 
Nope, popping another one here. Uh, Big Bang comes out. It was nerfed. So, gonna be throwing out some viruses with Talon, because that's about the best spell he has besides some of the uh, tier 3. But with the long cast time, do you really want to cast him? Not unless you're popping out quad nine with that. Yeah. I mean, with Palom, you can easily do it if you bluff, but then you're reducing your instant damage output. Exactly. You're, you're really looking for a DPS here, not just high damage numbers. Yep. And it looks like Martin's got Nuke on a second character, white on... Uh, Nuke, Nuke on Palom, white on Porum. Will he end up popping the last siren yeah. here? You don't heal here unless uh, unless you're gonna pop another siren. Yeah. Popping the last siren here. And it's gonna be a rough one. All those viruses still white still coming out from Zulch here. It's a race to the finish. Will Zilch be able to nerf this uh, second Big Bang coming out here? Hopefully he can. Everybody's in a relative position to be able to uh, survive an unnerfed one, but uh, if it's nothing but high rolls, um, the only person to almost guarantee survive is Edge with the 2500. Even though we know that his uh, magic defense for base is not the greatest. Martin doing some heavy calculations gets nuke on Rydia. So gonna be going in with a white and two nuke casters. Oh, that's a lot of high rolls right there. Ouch. Yeah, both Edge and Rydia still surviving. Everybody else down. Black Hole comes on out. Did Zilch at all change his battle speed or is this still PS1? Because if this is on battle speed one, doing reflect shots at battle speed one, if you don't have somebody zerked, is. Oh, he's on. Uh, looks like chat's saying he's on BS4. Okay. Thank you, chat. Well, the uh, question is does Cure 4 get off? It does. But Edge is not going to get any of the healing here. I believe this Big Bang's about to be popping off here. Can we get enough HP on edge for him to survive? Will this nuke take out Zeromus? That is the major question. Big Bang high comes roll. out. They're Will it high roll again? Like and answer is... Oh, ouch. Rydia Just with the massive barely. dodges. But gets virus to the face. Down she goes. Zilch is wiped a second time. Martin's on his way to Z. Zilch is about to be walking back down again. And We've got a race. We're basically neck and neck right now. Yeah, we have got a race. Like oh boy, said, everybody, it's not over until Zeromis is fading into the dust. Yeah, and, and I think things are going to go a little bit smoother for Martin as he has two new casters and a white caster. Uh, which is the preferred style of reflect strats on Zilch? He's got just white and nuke. And Martin's chemists are a lot beefier. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting as both these runners are about to be entering into Zeromus nearly at the same time. But again, you cannot count out Zilch. I mean, he is the progenitor of the 1200 HP strats. Definitely. So coming into Z at a little bit lower levels, maybe not with all the greatest spells, can still get through it. But you got to think you're in a race. You're not always 100% thinking of everything that you possibly can do. So both runners in here entering Zeromus, we're going to have a definite dual Z fight going on here. It's gonna be a photo finish here. Yeah, as chat said, might have been a better option for Zilch to have exited and pass after the first wipe, but 
in the situation you're in, that's not something that you're thinking about in my the way yeah. I see it. Yeah, I think the other thing that's going for Martin here, Martin also has a cursed ring. So Martin's gonna be able to reduce Porm's agility to be able to know the turn order. So that is going to help out significantly on his side of things. Meanwhile, Zilch doesn't have that massive agility manipulation. Has to stick that Porm at 29, which is not a bad agility. And thank you to but... that. We have a 20, uh, sorry, a 19 second difference in time between starting the E fight here. Yeah, will this, will, I had to say, will this go to a game four? I mean, both these runners are We're amazing. Not oh, I've already said it. I don't care. Uh, yeah, uh, are we going to get a tie here? Yeah, both these runners are amazing. Make sure you follow him. While I'm doing shout outs here during this room site, make sure you go ahead and follow the Restream team, SMIBD, Commander Leadhart, both amazing streamers on their perspective parts. Go ahead and follow Sm Awakened Smoke here. You're amazing, aren't you? Um, I'm having a blast, and I would, again, I would love to watch these guys do it again. Oh, definitely. We've got nukes flying from both Zeromas and everybody else. And also, everybody, this... don't forget to give uh, Tybalt here a follow, carrying this broadcast here, to fill in the gaps that I'm not fully known about. It's fine, don't worry about it. I think that's the first big bang coming out here for Martin. It's a nerfed one. Everybody's still relatively healthy. The nukes are flying. Who's going to get it done first? That is the question. Now who's going yeah. to pumping out more damage? I'm not, I haven't looked closely enough yet. Well, I know on Martin's side, he's got two Stardust Rods. Zilch, I believe only has the one from Sheila One. Uh, Edge decided to take a nap on Zilch's side from that big bang. Here for coming from uh, Porum here on Martin's side. Oh boy, we this is so close of a race. I am on the edge of my seat. Are you on the edge of your seat, Smoke? Very much so. Actually, almost just fell off a minute ago. Uh, to answer a, t a question in chat uh, to Dr. Cossack, no, Stardust Rod in Chocobo Forest and from Sheila One. So, Zilch did not check the Chocobo Forest uh, and is only has the one Stardust Rod from Sheila One. Another Cure 4 on Martin's side, just getting the final heals up on everybody, making sure they're all topped off in case a Big Bang comes out here. Nukes are flying. Oh man. Big Bang on Zulch's side. Everybody's in relatively oh, low HP. And that's it for Martin, he's got but it. On, but on Martin's side, Zeromus is crumbling. And we have a winner here, Martin Broadcloak, with official time of 141.44. We do have a uh, an unfortunate forfeit on Zilch's side. Tough break for, for Zilch with the massive wipes. We're going to see if we can get one of these runners in here, if not both of for an interview. Martin. Hi. That, uh, GG, sir. I, I, I don't have words. I... <sighs> That's not how you want to win a race. No, we... we uh... I'd, I'd, I'd love running back with Zilch anytime. So we, we, we talked a bit afterwards and yeah. <sighs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the early game, both you and Zilch were just step in step mm. the the major divergence came from you were going in baron in zilch went immediately to the moon and grabbed the character and uh had already done baron in and started his grind mm -hmm. i i thought about it i i had every intention seeing that tell at the start 
I mean, we all know. It's like, okay, it's Della. Where, where's, where's D money? How, how can I make it function? And uh, looked around, saw the characters available, saw Rydia, had the plan, and then went to Moon and Edge blew that plan right out of the water. It's like, okay, well, um, sure, I'll try something different. Yeah, that CPU. Uh, not my best idea. Not my best work ever. Yeah, that... Sorry, go ahead, Tibble. Yeah, that CPU kind of uh, just had other ideas for you. Yeah, yeah base, base level edge with CPU. Yeah, and no darts. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great thing. Followed immediately by, hey, look, a dragoon spear. Well, Kane's not going to be in the seed. He won't be a dwarf. I'll just... Yeah. Him. Yeah, that you yeah. Uh, sold it, yeah. and then you found a cane. Yeah, but the treasury made up for it. But still, it's like you know, throw me a like ah. So I I knew after that CPU I was behind. I didn't know by how much, but I knew I was behind at that point. So all of a sudden now things like the twin harp come in play. Um, when I saw D mist up at Murasame, I'm like. After after last game and forgetting to turn in D-Mist, and that would have changed my entire routing scheme. Um, my first instinct, uh, I lifed Polrom to uh, exit. And I thought about it. I'm like, well, let's do this. Let's walk all the way down. We'll scum it from there. I'll look at Ribbon. If it's something tolerable, I'll do that first. And then Elements decided to punch me for like two grand twice. I'm like, yeah, I'm not having this. I, I will live and die by D.Mist, mist and uh yeah yeah the only thing that that element was guarding was a pass so uh, useful yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the experience was would have been garbage at that spot but yeah no it would have been useful but yeah no that that I my heart goes out to Zilch on that one I uh, I would race him anytime. He is, I've learned, I've learned so much from the community and I learned most of my low level strats from hearing about and watching him. So. That is a race I would love to watch again. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd love to go, you know, zilt strats against him anytime. A little, little 1200, a little Edward and uh, that, that, that would be a blast, but. Yeah. Man, that was a that was a seed. Yeah, that was an amazing run to watch. Uh you of course pulling your your Martin RNG pulling that Stardust rod out of the Chocobo Forest. <laughs> it just brought it over to you and <laughs> handed it over. Can we can we just talk about how funny that was? It's like, cool, I have one. Great. I have a second one. Uh what am I doing with this thing? I mean, I got radio eventually, and you're like, oh, but... that's what I'm doing with it. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, well, thank you, Chocobo Forest. I appreciate it greatly. Paul Martin, you won this race. You're going on to the next one. In oh, the God. winner of Solaris and Sorbius race. Who are you hoping Solaris to face in it? Uh, yeah, Solaris and Sorbius. Yeah. I have an awful yeah, day. Both, both, uh, both members of the campfire. So, uh, I, uh, We've we've raced before casually, so uh, I I will make sure I'm ready for either or. So do you have a preference on who you would like to race? Hmm. Do you have a preference on who you would like to race? No, no. Night Dew. I mean, they're both talented. I mean, I remember the early days of the campfire when Night Dew was around, and you know, usually the the order of operation went: Pancras, Night Dew, Possum. Solaris in some order and sometimes I'd stick my name in there somewhere. So but uh yeah they're they're all scary. So I'm I'm looking forward to the challenge, whoever it may be. Smoke, do you have any other questions for uh Martin tonight? No, nah, nothing that comes to mind right now. I'm I'm looking forward to watching back the comms. You probably all said wonderful and then followed by amazingly horrible things about me, which I'm gonna love to see. <laughs> um, th thank you to Smape D and Commander for doing all the all the hard work, and uh, 
thank you the chat for coming out watching that so it was yeah i <clears throat> lost for words i know it's rare but yeah yeah well ggs uh good luck on your future races here in the tournament and uh we'll talk with you later all right thank you take care <laughs> you too All right, that was Martin Broadcloak. Let's see if we can get uh, Zilch in here for an interview if he so chooses. And it looks like we're joined by Zilch here. GG Zilch. Thank you. So you went to the moon and you saw the edge up there. Was there any thought in your mind to steal sirens at all? Or were you just thinking of straight D-Machine to, to get ready to, to nuke right away? I thought about it, um, but I figured if I got Rydia to nuke, then I wouldn't really have to care about anything, and Rydia couldn't get through the Z fight. So I thought um, once she had nuke, so figured I would just do that and get through the seed that way. Um, I think Sirens might have been the better play, but not sure. I mean, I had her in slingshot range. It felt like the right idea at the time. It would let me check the first giant boss. So, yeah, don't really regret that decision. Yeah, I mean, right there at the beginning, up until you went up to the moon, both you and Martin were step in step with each other, like both checking watery pass, both going to this location at the same time. There was very little diversions until you went to the moon and you grinded. And then from there, you know, there, there was some divergence, but you ended up catching up a lot of time with Rydia just nuking everything in the face. Yeah, actually, you know, now that I think about it, I think I was sitting at eight key items. So the play probably was to take edge, get the two more key items, and then just grind with sirens. But eh, you don't think about that in the moment sometimes, so... So you saw you saw Demist at the Marasami altar, and you immediately decided, nope, I needed to check this. Was there any thought in your mind to go down to the LST at all? Or well, I wanted ten key items so I could potentially slingshot Palin to nuke just for more safety on one of those um, bosses in the L down in the LST. So I figured Demist has two chances to give me a key item. I thought the odds are pretty good. Um, it happened to give me a key item that put me in go mode, so that was great. But um, but yeah, so the plan was just to get a key item off the Demis check, go back to the moon, and then finish up the rest of the moon fights to get Palom nuke. Wasn't expect. I mean, I figured go mode could happen at any point, but yeah. it happened a little earlier. <laughs> Yeah, and it was a, it was a tough break from there. It was, it was great watching around. It was so amazing to, to sit there and watch you just step and step and everything. Um, do you have any future plans? Um, no, I think I'll just watch the matches. Um, be good to take a break from playing all the tournament matches. <laughs> Um, it was fun. I definitely enjoyed it, but it'd be nice to just spectate a little bit. Um, not have to worry about the playing. I mean, I enjoy the, sh the competitive atmosphere, but at the same time, it's good to not have it go on for too long. Uh, and again, everyone in this that's left in the tournament, even that's already been removed from the tournament, all great players. So, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing the rest of it play out. Hopefully we'll find someone that can uh, eat some pancakes. That'd be pretty cool to see. <laughs> Definitely going to be doing any ladder racing going on? Uh, I think the season's almost ending. Is that right? Yeah, so season's going to do an end here uh, in a couple maybe, weeks. Yeah, I haven't actually tried any of the new ones for this season. Maybe I'll give them a few tries, but I'll probably wait for the next season to actually get back into it. Okay. Uh, Smoke, you got anything for uh, for Zilch here? No, nothing I can think of. I mean, you covered pretty much anything that I was thinking about there. Zilch, any other final thoughts on the seed? Um, no. Uh, but on seed, um, thanks again. I'm 
both of you for yesterday and today for commentary slash tracking. And thanks to Smapti and Leanheart for the restream and tracking today. Well, GG's again. It was definitely, yeah, I don't really know what to say there. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of those where you don't know you have a big lead, so you try to make things work the way they are instead of trying to make it safer. So it happens. And GG's to Martin, by the way. I uh, hope he he sweeps it all. So you can always good to lose to the person that wins it all. So I'm rooting for Martin now. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure doing commentating for the race. Again, GG's. Tough break. Hope to see you in the future. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. You as well. Well, Smoke, it's that time again. Indeed it is. It is. It has been a race, everybody. It has. But before we go, we do have some race announcements for tomorrow. We have... Solaris versus Night Dew, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Randomania. And we have Dakar Smash versus Rybon at 10 p.m. Eastern on Randomania as well. So, and also tune in for tomorrow, those. we have Pyre versus Pancras at 8 p.m. on Free Enterprise right here. Oh, even more spice. So. Tune in next time for some good old free enterprise. Thanks again for Smebdi giving us the restream. Commander doing the tracking. And again, thanks to you, Smoke, for being such a wonderful co-commentator. Oh, likewise, right to you there, Tibble. And to you, chat, thank you for tuning in. We hope you all enjoyed the show, and we hope to see you all next time. Have a great, wonderful morning, day or night, whichever it may be for you. Take care, everybody.